Hey guys, according to Nigerian Tribunal Chief Bokno Akerele, um, Chief Mrs. Bokno Akerele, the former Deputy Governor of Legal State, from 1999 to 2002, has expressed concern over the growing political dominance of non-indigenous individuals in Lagos. Bokno, who served under then Governor Bola Tinubu, shared her thoughts on the issue, attributing the situation to deliberate actions. The the situation to deliberate actions, please pardon me, amid at sidelining in indigenous Lagosians. She believes the exclusion of indigents from key political position is part of a long-term strategy that has evolved since her time in office. During her tenure as deputy governor, Akere Lee observed the gradual rise of non-indigenous politicians in Lagos. She highlighted that this trend began during the administration she was part of, pointing to Tinubu's leadership as a critical factor, according to her. Despite Tinubu's prominent role in Lagos politics, he himself is not an indigenous Lagosian, a fact that she believes influenced his approach to governance in the state. She suggested that Tinubu's actions during his time as governor were aimed at surrounding himself with loyalists, many of whom were not from Lagos. The former deputy governor went on to imply that Tinubu's background played a significant role in shaping his political strategy. She asserted that Tinubu, aware of his non-indigenous status, he worked to promote other non-Lagosians into positions of power. This, according to Bokno Akerele, was a way for him to secure support and control over the political landscape of the state by elevating non-indigenous politicians, she believes. Tinubu assured that his influence will remain unchallenged politically by indigenous Lagosians who might have resisted his policies. The controversy surrounding the political representation of the of indigenous Lagosians has continued to stir debates in the state. Many Lagosians feel that their rights and opportunities are being eroded by individuals who do not have deep-rooted ties to the area. Bokno Akerele remarks have reignited discussions on the issue, particularly among those who feel marginalized by the current political dynamics in Lagos State. Bokno's comment reflect a growing sentiment among some indigenous Lagosians who feel excluded from key leadership roles in their states. As Lagos remains Nigerian's economic hub, the struggle for political control has intensified, with both indigenous and non-indigenous vying for influence. The former deputy governor's statement suggested that this power struggle has historical roots, historical roots dating back to the early 2000s, when non-indigenous began gaining prominence in the state political hierarchy. She said, I am an indigenous Lagosian, and therefore I feel very strong about it because I feel it is being purposely done. It is being purposely done that non Lagosians should take over the most important positions from indigenous of Lagos State. We started, we started noticing it when Tinubu and I were in power. Let's face it, whatever anybody says, Tinubu is not a Lagosian. And I feel because of that, he wanted to put non Lagosians in power to support him. I think he knew that with his background and antecedents, it would be difficult for him to maneuver in Lagos State. 
and so he started promoting non-Lagosians into uh, posi positions of power. <laughs> hey, they say, well, I'll be like bicycle. This issue of President Bola Metinubu's identity is still lingering. Now, the question is, who is President Bola Metinubu? Who is President Bola Metinubu? And why did the Lagosians allow this to happen? Since they know that Tinubu is not a tropical Yoruba, or it's not a, <laughs> Tinubu is not a, a tropical Lagosian, why did they allow him to uh, 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 sell uh, to this point in Lagos? Now they are, they are not feeling bad that a non-indigent is taking over their state. Well, I still want to ask this question again. Who is President Bola Ame Tinubu? Because everything about President Bola Metinubu is really very, you know, sketchy. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you're just joining us for the first time, I best subscribe to this channel. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you. And bye for now.